everybody. Bruce back with you. It's been a long, long time. So, um, yeah, it's been about six months or so. Um, I'm off work tomorrow because of the eclipse that's coming through the Ohio area. So, they let everybody off. So, um, decided to make a video. Been thinking about this for a long, long time. I've been busy playing live music, bands, doing other kind of stuff. But I'm happy to be back. Uh, today I'm gonna do something really special to me. It's taken me a really long time, but I've finally acquired all the pieces to be able to do this video. Um, so without further ado, if you know me, um, my favorite band of all time is the Ramones. They, they're everything to me. Punk, punk rock starts and stops with the Ramones. We could argue about proto-punk and all that stuff, I don't care, I like all that shit too, I'm just saying, for me, the band is the Ramones. So, today I'm going to show a completed collection of Ramones records. Uh, a couple things to note, uh, it's only UK and US pressings, because the other stuff is either really rare or just too expensive, and I just want to focus on the United States and, and the United Kingdom. And I also am not going to be including 12-inch singles because I'm just not a fan of those. The only time I will get something like that is if it has a song that's not on anything else. So I'll break down and do it then, but typically I'm just going for 45, 7 inches. So without further ado, we'll start with the LPs. Get a drink, yeah! Bourbon, as always, sponsored my videos, sponsored by Bourbon and PBR. Hit me with that endorsement. And stay squatchy, baby. So, so, LPs. The newest stuff I have. The New York Mixes of Pleasant Dreams. I picked this up, I think, two years ago. Might have been last year. It was last year. Yeah, on Rhino Records. So, this is pretty good. Some people like this better than the original Pleasant Dreams. I don't know. They're both good. This is different, for sure. So, that's the, the latest rounds. Um, this is, let's see, 2020, 2019, It's Alive 2, basically more the same of the original It's Alive, which is one of the greatest live records ever put out, in my opinion. So yeah, cool to pick that up, I think it was Record Store Day, I don't know, yeah, Record Store Day, right there. So, Ramones, It's Alive 2. Alright, now to the studio albums from their career. I got two copies of this. Um, Let them eat vinyl. Adios amigos, still sealed. I also have an original on radioactive. Um, I don't want to grow up. It's awesome. Uh, Talks to rainbows, pretty cool ballady type song. Adios Amigos, Ramon's last studio album from 1995. Also, Let Him Eat Vinyl from 1992. Mondo Bizarro by the Ramones, still sealed. And also have an original on Radioactive. So, Poison Hearts, Sweet Tan, Strength and Durst, awesome. Cabby's on crack. Yeah, Mondo Bizarro. Yeah, I'm going from the earliest release all the way back to the beginning. That's just how I pulled them out of my record shelf. I'm too lazy to flip them around. Next up, Dee Ramone's last. Oh yeah, C.J. Ramone was on the last two records releases. This is the last record with Dee Ramone, Brain Drain, 1989, on Sire before they switched over to Radioactive. Sorry for the glare, but Brain Drain. Again, I got I got multiple copies of some of these. Uh, Ramones Mania 1988 is the first tape I ever heard of the Ramones. I showed it in my introduction video. It's one of the first I ever got. This is also sealed. This is a newer-ish copy. You're not gonna you're not gonna believe this. 
Also have an OG. There you go, there's the first press. Ramones Mania. That's what started me on my journey. Bourbon break. Next studio album, Halfway to Insanity. 1987. Bop to drop, I wanna live. Garden of Serenity. A real cool time. The record with Richie Ramone. Met Richie in Dayton when he played here. Really, really nice dude. Really, really tall. Next up, we got Animal Boy. The layer sucks. Really sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so uh, 86. Uh, somebody put something in my drink. Richie, Richie Ramone tune. Um, Crummy Stuff is a single off here. My favorite song on this record, probably my favorite 80s Ramones song, period. Bonzo goes to Pittsburgh. My brain is hanging upside down. Animal Boy. Next up, the metal album. Not really, just hard, hard rock. Too Tough to Die, 1984. Mama's Boy, Warthog, some pretty tough DD tunes. Um, well, Daytime Dilemma, Danger Love, that's a pretty poppy tune. And Howlin' at the Moon with, with my boy Dave Stewart from Arrhythmics. Good stuff. Yeah, too tough to die. OG as well. Another OG, some training in Drungle. You notice uh, Marky's over here because at this point his drinking had got to be too much and they were about to kick him out and replace him with Richie that you saw on the previous albums. So he's kind of like subtle, but you know, if you know the band, you know kind of the deal there. Probably my favorite album cover of theirs, though, other than the uh, self-titled. So, Subterranean Jungle, this was what, 1983? Yep. A Bit of Soul, Outsiders, a cool song. Psychotherapy was the big one off this one. They're all great. Time has come today, that's another one. Pleasant Dreams, next up. We want the airwaves, a little quiet on the Western Front. Let's see, KKK took my baby away, another great song. She's a sensation. Can't fuck with Pleasant Dreams, it's a really good record. So that's that's a later reissue. OG. Keep going. Next up into the century, the famously produced Phil Spector album. Do you remember Rock and Roll Radio? I'm affected. Chinese Rocks. Dee Dee and Johnny Thunders apparently wrote that together. There's a version of Veach. I don't know which one I like better, but, you know, whatever you like. End of the century. I think I got two OGs on this one. The Rock and Roll High School soundtrack. Got some pretty cool stuff. I uh, got uh, Teenage Depression by Eating the Hot Rods. Got Chuck Berry School Days. A few Ramon songs. Nick Lowe makes the soundtrack, Brian Eno, you know, uh, Devo's even on here, pretty good, but you buy it for the remotes, obviously. The previously talked about, need a drink? The original It's Alive, like I said, probably one of the best live records ever released, especially for punk rock. Very good. Everything's sped up about 25 BPM. Mark Ramone's first record, Road to Ruin. There's Mark Bell right there. Previously of the Voidoids with Richard Hell. Famously known for Blank Generation. Road to Ruin. What songs we got? Few got a couple songs left. Got a couple copies of this. Um 
This one's got a barcode, so I'm assuming that's a reissue. This is the OG here. Doesn't really matter. I know I got OGs of all of them, but you're probably getting tired of hearing me say OG. Got four copies of Rocket to Russia. My personal favorite Ramones album and probably my personal favorite album of all time. Um, it's arguably. Um, Creep and Hop, Side A, Side A, or Side A, Song 1, probably my favorite Ramones song. Teenage Lobotomy, Do You Want to Dance, I Want to Be Well, Here I Ain't Gone Tomorrow, Rockaway Beach is another killer track. Yeah, I love this album so much, I got four copies of it. One of them's got a barcode, so I know that's a reissue, but the other three might be original. I don't know. They're all early. This is cool, a little fun factoid here. The second album by the Ramones, Leave Home, got two copies here. This is the original, because this has uh, Carbona, not glue. You see that? There it is. Which they had to remove later on because of the company that owned the name, so they were going to sue So later copies, that's the original. The later reissues have the famous single, uh, Sheen as a Punk Rocker. So that's how you know if you got an original press of Leave Home, it has Corbona not glue. The re later reissues feature the hit single, Sheena is a punk rocker. Hit single, my ass, but yeah, that's one of their most popular songs. Which brings me to the first, the original, self-titled. I got two reissues here, early reissues, like 77 probably. But it came out in 76 originally. You can barely see it up here in the top. But that right there in the frame, that's the first pressing there. So I think these two are 77 reissues. All right, that's all the LPs. Again, I'm pretty sure that's it. There might be bootlegs and stuff, but everything official released, it's there. Now we gotta get into the singles. These ones we're gonna go in chronicle order, order from the beginning, order, order, order. So, first up, American Press of Blitzkrieg Bop. Did not have a picture sleeve on Sire. This started it all, in my opinion. And here's the grail of the whole bunch. I did pay a good amount of money for this. But for me, this is the most important thing. That's Blitzkrieg Bop, Picture Sleeve, UK Press. Also on Sire, of course. Backed with Havana Affair. But this is it. I've been waiting on this for years. And once I finally got this, I could do this video. So, thanks tax return. Next up, and I don't know if these are US and UK. I don't, I don't have the time to look at all that, but they're mixed between the United States and UK. I'd say it's probably 60% UK, 40% US as far as release, especially with the picture disc or the picture sleeves because the UK was just much more into that. So next up, I want to be your boyfriend. I think this is an American because it's got a big hole on Sire. So it's got a uh, California Sun, don't want to walk around with you. I think those are live. So I want to be your boyfriend. Next up, got a little EP. This is this is an English press. I probably will say I'm not anything about it. You can tell just because they got the, the injection molds. That's usually means the UK, and they don't. They all have small holes too. The United States ones usually have the. You need the insert. So yeah, this is the EP. Rockaway Beach, Teenage Lobotomy, and Beat on the Brett. I'm gonna have to change this over after this song, but I'm gonna keep going here. Love. Swallow my pride. Again, U.S. press because of the big hole, I can tell that. So, Swallow my pride, backed with Pinhead. All these little sevens got really cool picture sleeves and I'm, I dig them, man. It took me many years to accumulate all these, but I, they're all here. And I'm really proud to do this because I, I think people enjoy it. Also swallow my pride, but then again, 
This is going to be the British press. So Pinhead, Let's Dance is added to this. Swallow My Pride, Pinhead, UK. These are all on Sire. Here's Rockaway Beach, Lock It Love. Again, seeing a trend here. American release is going to be with the insert hold. Rockaway Beach and Lock It Love. It says it on the front. I don't know why I need to look. There you go. Next, I Remember You. That glare is stupid. I'm really sorry. UK press. The inserts are all like green injection mold there. So I remember you and uh, I don't want to walk around with you. A lot of U's on the Ramon song, you know. This is one of my favorites. Sheena is a punk rocker. You guessed it, US press. Sheena's punk rocker backed with I Don't Care. Dee Dee's backup on that song is really funny. All right, let me change this over. Okay. Excuse me, folks. Just like having a little bit of background noise. Makes the video go a little smoother for me. All right, back into it. Quick drink. If you guys know anybody that works at PBR, man, send them my way. I really want that sponsorship. I'll run an ad, I don't give a shit. All right, next up. I'm not really that serious about that. Do you want to dance? American Press. Big Who. Babysitter. Do you want to dance? I cleaned all these about a month ago, so they should be nice and shiny. Unlike me, I'm a dirt bag. What's this? Do you want to dance? It's a long way back to Germany, Crete and Hop. UK press. Sire. I threw this in here because I had to. Paley Brothers and Ramones, also on Sire. Paley Brothers were a Sire artist. They did this split. One side's got Magic Powers by the Paley Brothers. And the other side's got Come On, Let's Go with the Paley Brothers singing and the Ramones playing the backing tracks. So that's what matters here. Even though these dudes are probably Silver Foxes now, so good for them. If they're still alive. Ooh. Should've done some research there. Okay, another single that didn't have a picture sleeve. American released the wonderful cover of Needles and Pens. Backed with I Wanted Everything. Love this song. Oh, almost at 20 minutes, dang. All right. Basic cover, but still picture sleeve. She's the one. Back to the I want to be stated. Um, this is oh, almost dropped it. Shit. UK press. She's the one. I want to be stated. This is the first UK release that doesn't have the injection mold. Another similar. Don't come close. American press. Large hole. I don't want you, and don't come close. Man, I got a lot of these. Don't come close again. Except this one is on yellow wax. I had to buy it because of the yellow wax, even though I already had a copy, I wanted the other one. So this one has the same thing. I don't want you, don't come close. US. British. Just like the album, we got the single, Rock and Roll High School. Released on Sire, Large Hole. 
Do you want to dance live on the B-side? A few more. Now we're in the end of the century. Baby, I love you. High risk insurance on Sire as well. Little hole, so I'm assuming this is English pressing. Baby, I love you. Has the tour dates on the back. That's pretty sweet. High risk. Baby, I love you. High risk insurance. I want to be sedated is up next. Pretty cool mugs there. Look at that. Yep. Made in England right there. So, B-side here is the return of Jackie and Judy. I want to be sedated. One of my favorite songs for rock and roll radio, this opening track on End of the Century. Again, another English press. I said I wasn't going to say pressings, but I don't care. I'm doing it now. It's my, it's my show. I want you around as a B-side. Get in there. So this is an EP they did called Meltdown with the Ramones. I want to be your boyfriend and questionly on side B. The A side contains just want to have something to do here today, gone tomorrow. Meltdown with the Ramones. 1978. Here's another I want to be sedated. American Press. Big hole again. I want to be sedated back with I want to be sedated. So it's a double A side. Now we're in the Pleasant Dreams era with We Want the Airwaves. Backed with You Sound Like You're Sick. Yeah, just basic. Another one without the picture sleeve. We have UK pressing of She's a Sensation and All Quiet on the Eastern Front, the B side. This came in a Sire company sleeve. There's a hair on there. Okay. All right, next time has come today 1983. It's a cool cover. Got Richie in the band at that point. Dee Dee's still hanging around. Time has come today. Backed with psychotherapy. Wee, wee, wee. Got two of these guys. Chasing Night, Howling at the Moon. These came out on Beggar's Banquet in the UK. 1984, around the Too Tough to Die era. This is a double single. Smash You. Street Fighting Man, which is Rolling Stones' song, I believe. And then you have uh, Chase of the Night and Howlin' at the Moon on the disc one. You have Howlin' at the Moon single, just one record, A and a B side instead of a C and a D. You have Howlin' at the Moon and Smash You Again, just two different versions. One's a double EP, one's the single. All right, like I said, one of my favorite singles from the 80s. Bonzo goes to Bitburg. My brain is hanging upside down. Got a cool cover of Reagan there doing some shit. Uh, this is on Bigger Banquet as well. B-side is Daytime Delivered, Dangers of Love, also a great song. This is one of my favorite seven inches I own. Just both songs are killer, mean a lot to me. A few more guys and I'm done. Probably hit 30 minutes, I'm assuming. Something to believe in. Also on Beggar's Banquet, that's got the reverse side there, which that guy's name was Prince Valiant, I think, something like that, Prince Caspian. Anyway, he's no arms and no legs, could light a cigarette somehow. He was in the Freaks show, 1932, Tom Browning's Freaks, the Rones. You know, do I have to do it? We accept you, we accept you, we accept you, one of us. We accept you, we accept you, we accept you, one of us. I did it, sorry. Somebody put something in my drink backed with something to believe in. This is a cool pick sleeve. And we got Ramon's Aid, Beggar's Banquet as well. Got crummy stuff 
as the A. Now get out of there. What's the B side on this one? Let's see here. Something to believe in. Come on, two in a row? All right. Next up, real cool time, also on Beggar's Banquet. Uh, Indian Giver. Can't really do that anymore, but uh, that's on the B side. All right, two more. I Want to Live, also on Beggar's Banquet. They switched radioactive for their LPs, but they did all their seven inches on Baker's Banquet, which is a British label, I'm pretty sure. I want to live. Merry Christmas. I don't want to fight tonight. It reminds me, I have an exclusive seven inch of that too. It has Joey as a cartoon. Should have grabbed that, but I didn't. Oh well. It's not the Ramones. It was so, it, during his solo project era towards the end of his life. Okay, that's it. I want to live. And finally, nope, I got two more. Sorry, I lied. Pet Cemetery. The song title track from the movie, U.S. release, Big Hole, back with Sheena as a punk rocker, strange, but I guess it was a popular song, so add it on, right? But it's mainly for Pet Cemetery, which is a great tune, great movie, great tune. And last but not least, the D.D. Ramon pen song that was released after he left the band in 1992 from Mondo Bizarro, Poison Heart. This was released on Chrysalis. For only one I have that was released on Chrysalis. Even Pet Cemetery is released on Sire, so I don't know. But there you go. Chrysalis Records. B-side, Censorship, which is a Joey tune. Cool back cover there. There's the boys with CJ. There's CJ. I met CJ when I went on a... Um, Went on a tour at the Punk Rock Museum in Vegas. He, I went on a tour with him. Paid for it, obviously. But And uh, another, met, met York Sharp, the record jerk Kevin from the VC. He hasn't posted in a long time, but he lives out there. I met him while I was on that tour. So, yeah. That, folks, is my completed, under my terms, Ramones collection. If I missed anything, let me know. But, I mean, I'm, I know I didn't. So, but thank you. Appreciate it. It's glad to be back. Post the videos again. Real quick before I leave, I'm gonna be doing this again in a week or two with another really popular band that I also have completed their collection under my terms. So I'm looking forward to doing that video. So probably sometime in April. But for now, what we're listening to is in my opinion, a very heavily Ramones influenced band. I know people say the Lurkers and the Saints, you know, they, they like to reference them as very heavily influenced Ramones type bands but in my opinion I think this band the Razorhead is probably the most influenced by the Ramones because it's pretty much I couldn't play a Ramones record because I get probably get my video taken down for censorship but this is the next best thing in my opinion the Razorhead the Rumble of the East I have another record of theirs and a few singles but yeah that's it Ramones collection Thanks to everybody for watching. I can't wait to see you again. And it's glad to be back, man. It's Bruce, Punk's Not Dad. Take care, y'all. See you soon.